Welcome back. Now we'll study the refraction of light ray through a prism. A prism is a triangular block of glass with three sides triangular in shape. As you can see on this drawing board. This is a glass prism we are going to use. The apparatus we are going to use are drawing board, white paper sheet, glass prism, paper pins, thumb pins, ruler and a protractor. This is the diagram we are going to use. It can be seen that an incident ray hitting one side of the prism bends and then emerges out like this. We can mark different angles like this. It can be seen this is an angle of incidence. This is the angle of refraction. This is the angle of emergence and this is the angle of deviation. We shall see that for different angles of incidence how does the angle of deviation behave. So let us perform the experiment over here. Draw a straight line. Keep the prism like this and draw its boundary. We get a triangle form. Let's place back the prism over here. These two pins are fixed to serve as the incidence ray and its image is seen to the other side. And two new pins are fixed looking into the image of these two pins so that all the four are in a straight line. We remove the glass prisms and pins and join these two points. Draw a normal and join these two points and measure this particular angle. Which is the angle formed between this emergent ray and the extended incidence ray. This way we can measure the angle of deviation. For different sets of different angles of incidence, we can find that with increasing angles of incidence, angle D first decreases and then increases. Thank you.